I had this really, really great master plan planned in my head, but then there was a shift in the weather. In a few days I'm getting married and I'm on my way to the place where I'm getting married. And my plan was that I was gonna hike along the road using a tent. So I drove to our family's cabin. Tomorrow morning I will get up really, really early and continue my journey. And my plan is to take a pretty long detour upwards the Norwegian mountains on small roads and nooks and crannies and I'll see what I can find. And if you want, you can join me. You just have to continue to watch this video and then we will explore together. So now I'm gonna have some food and then I'm gonna go to bed and then I'm gonna get up really early and continue my drive. Long drive ahead. Well, as you can see, the weather has vastly improved since yesterday evening. Also, it's stupid o'clock and I need coffee. A lot of coffee and I need it now. So let's just drive and get coffee. Standing on Freistuhl Bridge. I was curious to see if I could get a photograph here, but it didn't work out the way I planned it in my head. So I'm just gonna keep driving. I've been driving up for about two hours. Still haven't found a cup of coffee. So that's on my to-do list. We're gonna drive to Oostbygd where we're gonna take a small, small mountain path. I'm really looking forward to that path. But for now, let's continue on this road, number 364. So yeah, obviously I'm gonna set up here. So I've set up for a one minute exposure using the super stopper and it's running now. I had to work fast because of the sun is out now and I really wanted one minute of sunlight. The scenery is quite simply gorgeous, extraordinary. And I'm so glad I pulled over here. I actually had to turn and drive back in order to get this picture. And I got 10 seconds left. That looks fantastic. Woo. Well, let's keep driving. If I'm gonna stop every 10 minutes, this is gonna be a long trip. And I have a wedding to catch. Right behind me now is a gorgeous view. I am shooting at f8, 500 of a second. I'm using an ND grad filter to preserve the contrast in the sky. This is beautiful. The sun is out. And there we go, another one in the bag. Thank you. 
Oh boy, that little power nap felt really, really, really great. And after I woke up, I drove for three hours and I'm at Gulsfjelle, the mountain of Gul. And I found this neat little place and I am making my dinner. I like this little place. It's not a lot of people and there's a river that runs nearby. Don't worry, I won't photograph it. And it was just in time because as you can see here, there are some clouds coming in. So this might very well be the last hour I see with sun. So to be able to eat in the sun by a river alone, you can't ask for more. I'm a simple man. I see a river, I stop and I eat sometimes. I have finally arrived at Beitostölen and this magnificent view is what I see. So I set up the camera, of course, pointing towards the landscape. So that's that, that's my image. My GPS, they said that this road will take me about 10 hours. Well, I've been on the road now for about 13 and I still got two hours to go. My mind now has been in photograph mode for about 12 hours. So my mind is really, really tired. But we have arrived at Dondrefjell. This is the land of the muskus, the muskox. This will be my final image focused on these bluebells and this uh, stone fence with the majestic mountains in the background and these huge stormy clouds coming over. It's quite something, isn't it? Sometimes I forget how truly beautiful this country I live in is and getting in the car driving for 15 hours straight across Norway, listening to Chilean Welsh has been one of my favorite trips so far this year. And you know me, I get excited by just seeing a tree or seeing a creek. So you can only imagine how excited I get when I see those huge mountains towering over the clouds. It just leaves me speechless. It's not possible to stop everywhere you want, unfortunately. And believe it or not, I do have a time schedule on my hands. I'm getting married, so I need to get to my wedding. This has been one amazing trip and it's highly recommended. But split it into bring a tent, don't do like I do, and drive 15 hours straight. <laughs> you can get really tired. I had to take a few naps along the way. If you come this far without turning off the videos, I say, Thank you, and continue watching my future shows. All right, cheerio. I made it. I changed my mind. It seems like I have one image in me left after all. What I see here is this beautiful wet, wet grass in front of this majestic view. So I set up the camera really, really low 